Uh, now we love your calls and whether trainers look naff on middle-aged men. So I am wearing the famous track. Okay, this is the, just to show you here. Now, the problem, if you see these, and I'm sorry to put them on the desk, but you I want you to be able to see, see them. see them. Turn them around. I know, I know but I'm just so looking at camera four. There it's we Maddie, go. It's Maddie on camera four. She's got the angles. <laughs> so what's happened is hey, Rishi Sunak wore these and the market just crashed because that, you know, whatever you think of Mr. Sunak, he's not cool. And critics said this is a death knell for the sought after footwear. And he's now done a kind of apology. Prime Minister, you stand accused of destroying a fashion icon, the so-called Adidas Samba shoe, which you were wearing recently. <laughs> yes. Um, well, first of all, I just issue a fulsome apology to the Samba community. Um, but in my, in my, <laughs> in my defence, I would say I have been wearing Adidas trainers and Sambas and others, in fact, for many, many years. So, what do we think of that, Susanna? Um, I think they are inappropriate footwear for the occasion. And I, looking at that photograph, he does look quite good in them. We've got it, yeah, we've got it. And he is a very well-dressed man. Oh, OK, so man. wait, he looks... Oh, no, oh, when he's that. standing up... Mm, 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 he's mm, wearing mm. trousers the right and length, he's, though. And he's quite... He's vertically challenged a little bit. And by wearing white trainers with dark trousers, it, it sort of stumps the leg. So but if you do it like oh. Henry over here... Go on, Henry, show us yours. Who there does it Voila. perfectly because he is wearing the same colour trainers as his trousers. But then you lose the effect, which I would respectfully am not look, yeah, I'm not you... a qualified fashion commentator. I should I... make that clear. But look at the way the socks point to the trainers there, Susanna. Now, all I see is a sartorial show off. <laughs> <laughs> because you wear your leg. floral jazzy shirts and then you wear your kind of look at me socks and then with the trainers. And, I, and my husband, he wears trainers. And I just, no. Is it acceptable to wear them sockless? Um, yeah, I think that's better. Because they can when get it smelly. On, Holiday, yeah. when you're on holiday. Or ankle think, length. Yeah. yeah, and people yeah. wear them with suits, but if it depends on what industry you're in. It depends if you're in a creative industry yeah. or then it's fine. And what your age is, but I think kind of middle-aged aged men in trainers with a suit is a definite. It can definite work. Work. I mean, I mean, you know, Tim Davy, the director general of the BBC, always wears his white trainers. Yeah. And, yeah. and then you have the Laureus Sports yeah, Awards, that, where it's mm. de rigueur to turn up in trainers with a suit. So um, Prince Albert of Monaco, he wears them as well. You've got a suit on, then white trainers. Yeah, That's but he part looks of the. Terrible, Let's just get right? Susanna's brilliant comments on on a few other bits of shoe wear. So we thank our producer Anisha for doing this. Look, we can we can actually see other shoes. Ready? Um, here we go. Here we go. So those are Rishi in Birkenstocks. <laughs> Susanna. I love Birkenstock and I, there's a, well, I have a very dear friend who I go and stay with every year and I always walk in in a pair of Birkenstocks and every year he throws them into the bushes. Hate oh, them. he doesn't like... He will do the, that thing that the George Bush, somebody threw a shoe at him, didn't oh, yeah. they? So he throws your... Mm. Birkenstocks into a bush. But I love them, but not on... I feel that's like almost the cheap. opening scene of a sitcom. Right, let's try this. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh Henry. Crocs. 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 It looks terrible. It really does not look good at all. I mean, Well, they're hygienic. You can wash them. Does, but it clashes too much with his, um, the rest of his clothes. What about if they were a darker colour? Very possibly, but his legs are very, very thin, so it makes him look like a golf club at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> also, I mean, Crocs, well, what's your view on Crocs? Because they are very large. They are absolutely appalling. And what's so bizarre is there's a, a brand called Balenciaga, which is a very high-end oh, yeah. brand. Yeah. And they made Crocs and were selling them for about £800, I think, for a pair of rubber Crocs. Well, they, And they put Wrong. a heel on them. They Wrong. put a Croc heel on Let's just look at this other one. This, this is more like a, a boot, a DM, Dr. Martin, or what, I don't know what make that is, but that's... Um, yeah, what about that? No? I, I like the, you know, the, um, the desert boots, yeah. I think, are better than those. It's, it's the different tone of sole and upper. I noticed from my... From my now I'm in touch with teenagers, because I've got two at home, that when they, they turn up with their friends, they often like to wear very heavy footwear, yeah. and a classic being a, a boot, a Dr. Martin or whatever, and they, they you know, you, you could be almost bare-legged. And, and back in the day, you'd never do that. They but they do that now. Yeah, they do. But, but that's them, them asserting themselves, you know, young women, 
being out there, uh, being in control and being dominant. And I think that's, that's yeah, through I think the footwear, I think. Of that. And rejecting yeah. that sort of, oh, let's all look like Halle Berry coming out the sea. <laughs> you know, we don't have, not everyone has to have that look, Ursula Andress or... Indeed, indeed. You know, so, um, but what do we know? We're but, but, but very quickly, there's qualified. one practical reason why it's good for middle-aged men like me and you to wear trainers, even to a post conference. You've got problems with your feet when you get into your 50s and 60s, mm -hmm. you know, osteo... I have osteoarthritis in one of my toes. Oh. It is very, very difficult to wear a hard, pointy, you know, conference shoe you know, business shoe. So, um, and it's increasingly acceptable. I've seen Bill Gates, Richard Branson, all these mm. people wear the soft footwear. So it's okay. Well, Joe Biden has started Biden. wearing orthopedic yeah. shoes. Exactly. Long what are you in wearing? The same Come on. Car. I'm wearing... Can, we see, can I, do you want me to lift them? OK, oh, these, I brilliant. can't wear a heel anymore. Oh, look at that. I mean, they are truly ugly. But because my, um, my trousers, my jeans go over the top of them when I stand up, you can't yeah. see them, but the heel makes so my So I pull the jean longer. down, you can see there's a bit, a bit of length in the jean there. Yeah. And that's... Uh, and that's so they happens. go all the way down to the floor. Yeah. But I do think... And there's a flare on that as well, There's I do. a flare on the gym. I think Susanna's trying to assert her dominance over us, Jeremy. Yeah. Well, With a serious boot. I yeah. think that's been done anyway. Don't Ooh! We? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Many times. Brian on Facebook says, Rishi Sunak has definitely got bad wardrobe advice. I'm in my 60s. I wear them all the time as in trainers, but not with trousers and a shirt. It's clearly somebody who's got no fashion sense advising somebody else with no fashion sense. I don't know. I don't know, because I think people do wear trainers with suits now. Yeah. Joe on Facebook says, it depends on the middle-aged man. I'm 60 and I wear what suits me and looks good on me, not what my age, society or fashion or the fashion police dictate. That might include occasionally wearing trainers, he says. Doreen's in Surrey. Hello, Doreen. Hello. Um... I just cannot believe that an item like this is being discussed. Um, <laughs> why can't you wear what you want to, or when you want to? It's of no consequence to anyone else. Well, I think if I turned up and did this show in a bin liner, you would be the first to call and complain, because it would, there would be a lack of respect. Oh, don't be so silly. <laughs> it's nothing to do with a bin liner. That is an absolutely stupid reply to my Question. to my um, response to what is on. Do you think we can we can wear whatever we want whenever we want, and there's no comeback um, on no. that? No, no. I mean, if you were going to see the Queen, you wouldn't wear trainers. But that's it, isn't it? You see, the thing is, Doreen, the Prime Minister is in this quite formal position. He's not actually wearing a tie there. But most, if you go into the House of Commons, uh, the amazing thing is, it's the last place on the, in the country where nearly everybody wears a tie. Do you think that's OK or not? I'm not talking about ties, we're talking about trainers. Right. I'm getting the ones over here. <laughs> you really are. Where do I go for now? <laughs> Doreen, any, any other views? <laughs> no, no, um, just that. Um, what about the 100-year-olds not... driving? There's one for you. Well, I'm 79 and I drive. Brilliant. Oh, and, well, I hope you... I, I used to... I was brought up in Surrey, so I know how, how friendly it is. Thank you, Doreen. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Wonderful. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> that could almost have been my, my mum. Or, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Properly... That's it. Tell it to the man. No-one else is calling. Well, oh, we have got... We have got... <laughs> the next, what's the next call? Robin in, in Gloucestershire. Hi, Robin. Hi. Um, I don't think it's just to do with age. I think it's to do with how fit you are. There are very fit, 50, 60. Yeah. I'm quite fit. I'm 80, actually. But um, if you're kind of shuffling along with a fag yeah. on and you don't look... I mean, you're, <laughs> it's a very terrible look to, to wear trainers, I think. It's a very American but, thing. I noticed that when, when you have elderly Americans yeah. come to the UK, they're dressed like teenagers. They're wearing a flare. But that's for, that's, that's for comfort. And sweatshirts. It's for comfort. It's also yeah. because of arthritis, you know, because obviously you want to cushion every single step. Yeah, but it's There's no so point odd. wearing, you know, formal shoes if you're walking around Tower of London. Just yeah. nice, comfy wear. And you've earned it if you're 70 yeah. or 80 year olds. Why not? Well, that's it. You've earned it. Uh, Robin, thank you so much. Another time we'll have longer to talk. After the break, it's the papers and everything else. We'll be joined by Nigel Havers, host of The Bidding Room, and we'll be putting his bidding...